Alrighty, and welcome back everybody to High Ground MTG. This is Spiny Mouse once again. We're on round five uh, with Hammer Time. We'll see how this goes. Two and two right now. Two and two. Uh, could could have potentially gone a little bit differently, I think, if I had uh, uh, not been half asleep at the wheel, I guess. Um, but uh, here we are. Here we are. We're gonna try to. We're gonna try to get back into it. Um. Pure still, but can't play it. Got a hammer. Got a stone forge. Hmm. This hand's kind of slow. We also have Urza Saga, though, so. I guess we keep. What's on the draw? So maybe we'll draw something good. Sacred Foundry up against Burn. Well, there's our second planes for pure steel. So. We just play out the hammer right now. I guess we can just kind of do, because. Hopefully. Hopefully, next turn we can get pure steel paladin down. Though, with our opponent playing burn, we have to hope that they're. Mm. Any thoughts he's coming? Like Mardu Shadow. There's the Thoughtsies. I don't really, really think about whether or not they want Thoughtsies. Is. So I have to assume they take Pure Steel Paladin here. But if they like have another removal spell, then it's maybe not that scary. So maybe they take the Stoneforge Mystic. So, must mean that they have. Oh, they have a prismatic ending. Ha! <laughs> well, I guess that's the reason not to play it out. Uh, Alright, well, in that case, I guess we're going Urza Saga. I guess we're just going to cast these. So, if we do find another hammer next turn, then we'll want to be able to equip it with. or equip it to something they can attack, so. And if our opponent wants to waste removal spells on Ornithopters, I'm pretty okay with that, I think. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Give her runes. Um, okay. Does that change anything here? Give her a rune stone first. We still can't make, still can't make a construct. Or maybe we just make a construct with this Urza Saga. Is that just better? We've got blockers for this Dragon Royal Channeler. We're also at 20, which feels pretty safe. Don't want them to take out our Pure Steel Paladin, but we also don't have anything to do with it. So yeah, I think maybe we just pass and make a construct. It's fine. Mm, lightning bolt. Our ornithopter, you say? All right. Well, again, pretty okay with them wasting removal spells on ornithopters. Remember, we got lures over here too. So I think it's still better to just make a current strike here, but. Put it down to 10. Yeah, there's the Death Shadow. Alright, so we're going to need to do some things soon here. Let's make a Construct. Just a 2-2 for now. And then... We draw Esper Sentinel. Which is a thing we can play. Or we could go get... Opponents got two cards in hand, plenty of mana up, so they probably have removal spells. So I think we're just gonna make another construct here. 
Um, and then... Yeah, we'll go get another hammer. So we could get a spring leaf drum. What does that get us? It gets us a giver runes and esper sentinel out this turn. Is that worth it? But then we don't have anything to like do with our pure steel again, so... I think we just take Colossus Hammer. Play Nest for Sentinel. Um, no attacks. No attacks. Lightning Bolt. On the Esper Sentinel, sure. Paying one. Pays one. Puts Ragavan into their graveyard. Oof. Alright. It does shrink down our constructs a little bit here. You know, we're at 20 though, so I'm not super worried. Also, another lightning bolt in the graveyard. Steel Paladin in case they have another bolt. Let's see how many they used. We used two. Yeah, they have the removal as well. Uh, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Pays the one. Alright. Alright. I uh, wanted, to, wanted to put on Pure Step Paladin, uh, A, because if they have a removal spell, they would have to, to kill kill the Pure Steel instead of one of our big 5-5s. Five five Cracks. Takes a look at our top. Gets in for three. Sure. We just like find a room. Well, we don't have a removal spells, man. <laughs> Forgot about that. I was gonna say if we found a removal spell for uh, a scourge. Oof. Okay. All right, we need something. Need something good here. Horizon canopy. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see what this does for us. We have, we have blockers. This doesn't have. Okay. We're getting back to Loris next turn. Are they attacking? Okay. Taking there and there. We draw another land, we can get back pure steel, re equip. Um, do we have to kill this? If they've got a removal spell, we kind of want them to use it now. We can untap with Giver of Runes. Sure. 
technically can't quite cast it yet. Guess we draw some cards. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. Um all right. That's that's a thing that just happened. Alright, so we have to hope our opponent doesn't draw another land. But then also them drawing non lands is also bad for us. <laughs> so. Alright, attacks for three. Sure. No blocks. And they got the land, so here comes back Kroxa. Assuming. Oh, they have to. They have to choose which uh, which five they want to get rid of in the graveyard. We got plenty of things. Cast Crooks. Guard silent clearing. We are down to four, which means we are we now have to start blocking with this ornithopter. Oh, that's a pure steel paladin. Is that too little too late? Nothing is lifelink. We're gonna deal three. That's awkward. So we can't like just give protection. Hmm. Who are we equipping this to? I guess the, well, no, we need the Ornithopter for flying. I guess the construct doesn't have trample. I want to crack this in case we get an ornithopter or memnite, but that's not one that we can. All right, so we're dead to a bolt. They do a lot of things. Okay, so opponent's draw is a bobble. Base for sentence. Puts an inquisition into the graveyard, sure. So, bolt is still alive here. Alright, block here. That's a mistake because, like, if they had attacked with the Croaks, then we're just dead next turn because they can just bring it back. Discard of it, not exactly what we wanted to draw here. Draw another card. It's like now we're not dead to a bolt, even if they draw it. I don't know. We're alive still. We attack, it forces them to block. So then they just block with Kroxa. Yeah, it's not looking good here. We need to, like another hammer or something to keep drawing cards or equip things. Um, so we have four blockers, they have four attackers. They have a removal spell. 
think we can attack because if we attack, then they get then they can just get back Rooks out. Again, I'm not entirely sure why they didn't do that last turn, but they probably know something I don't know. Just gets it. Okay, here we go. So it looks like now they see it. Oh, I guess we could have kept Sigarda's aid in hand. Huh. Yeah, maybe we should have. Because we already have pure steel paladin, so. Um uh, this is awkward. Okay, so we actually we we can't kill it. So block here. Block here. So we did we didn't want it to die. Another dragon rage. Prismatic ending on the hammer. Yep, so this becomes a one one. We could have just exited the creature, I suppose, but I guess getting rid of the hammer is pretty good. And we draw planes. All right. Man, we drew a lot of lands. How many lands was that? I don't even know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? That's a lot. That's a lot for this deck. Okay. We want the paths. And I think we just want the sanctifiers. And that's about it, I think. Go down... Actually, go down a couple Mem Knights because Ornithopter has worth just because of the flying blockage. Um, cut a gift, maybe, and a drum, maybe. Another Mem Knight. I don't want to cut out too much. Cut a Stone Forge. Run it like that. All the things are good. Luris, sure. deciding whether or not they want to keep okay so we have a pretty decent hand here actually we'll keep this Urza's Saga is going to come down a little well I guess we'll see if our opponent just is like thought season gets rid of our sanctifier that's a little less good but we're gonna cast this Ornithopter in case our opponent does get rid of our sha or our Sanctifier, then we can equip our our Shadow Sphere to an Ornithopter and start gaining life. We'll also play our Urza Saga if they do. Oh, nothing. Okay. Um, I guess we can't play Shadow Sphere this turn. Ooh, Ink Moth Nexus. Oof, I want to play that too, but. I think we gotta get down Sanctifier right now. Okay. We shall see, we shall see. We got Sanctifier. Um, we're hoping to keep this, this Shadow Spear in hand. Sacred Foundry. Our opponent does have Prismatic. Um, ending. So that is that is a way to get rid of Sanctifier. So Sanctifier is not be all end all, but speaking of <laughs> whoa, whoa. alright, hammer time. Hammer time. One one time, one time. Pad the exile, alright, well. Uh yeah, I think we're gonna play Urza Saga. Yeah, we're gonna play Shadow Spear. And uh, we'll get him for one. Why not? Give up path. Could crank this canopy too. Alpine moon. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, we're gonna lose a. We're gonna lose a land. 
end, eh? Yeah, that's pretty good. Means we're not finding a hammer. I don't think we can crack this canopy now. I mean, I suppose we could, but I don't want to go down to just absolutely nothing. We can find the hammer. We're still in pretty good shape. Soul Guide Lantern, sure. All right, well, I guess we're not, um... Is this Enter? So it just gets rid of that forever. I guess we like. I guess we have to get lures. We're not gonna get up to six mana, so. I'm sure our opponent just rips it out of our hand. But we're gonna go get it. I guess if they have Thought Season, they have to choose whether they wanna get rid of our removal spell or get rid of our Lurus. They have Lurus kinda taken care of with this, I guess, but. Ending on Cigar's aid, sure. Crack Soul Guide Lantern to draw a card. Looks like they're digging for lands, maybe. Sure. Pure Steel Baladin. I don't think we have really a way to get rid of this. Um. To combat. Attack for one. <laughs> A little ornithopter that could. All right. I guess are we just cashing in this lures for nothing? I suppose so. Unholy heat. Sure. Well, our opponent has gotten rid of a lot of our stuff. They also haven't, like, done anything to advance their own board. We also have, like, the world's slowest clock, so. Should we be at 21? Oh, no, because I keep paying for a resin campaign. <laughs> That's it. Um, all right, so we're we're gonna crack this horizon canopy now, I think. Maybe. Ink Moth Nexus. All right. land for next turn, I suppose. I mean, eventually our opponent's gonna find... I mean, they can play Death Shadow now. They can technically play Death Shadow now. We've gotten them down to 12. Maybe that's what they've been waiting for. Inquisition of Kozilek. Yeah... If you're still down, sure. You know that we have the path now, too. We just start activating Ink Moth Nexuses and attacking with them? Maybe. Maybe. This does come down and just like goes away instantly, right? Like, so the way it 
breeds, I think. Okay. Newly controlled. So I want this one. So become a creature. Gotta tap this one. Uh, Alright. Go to combat. Attack, attack. I guess there's also an argument to be made to not attack our opponent except for with effect damage. So that we don't grow their um, death shadows. <laughs> so we'll get lantern, sure. Assuming they're just gonna try to crack this strong card at some point here. Yeah, gets rid of the lures. Yeah, we don't have any way to get lures back, so that's fine. Um, do we have to path this now? Gives our opponent another land, but... I mean... We want to be able to activate both of our Ink Moth, ink moth Nexuses. Alright. Well, we're going to crack one of these. Keep it for Croak's uh, fodder or something. Uh, yeah, so I think we're gonna we're gonna stop growing their death shadows. Next turn, we can get in for two, in fact. An even slower clock. Our opponent's gotta be, like, just have a handful of removal spells, because they're not casting anything. So like it can't be can't be creatures that they have. And here comes the removal spells. Oh, Coligan's command. Who, buddy? Ay ay ay. Man, we're just drawing straight nothing. Gotta find a way to. Uh, I guess we could have brought in we could have brought in things that could have killed this Alpine Moon. Who draws a card? Like even we if we get a hammer here, yeah sure take an order of the opter. I don't <laughs> sure go for it. Uh, even if we like can get a hammer down here, like I don't even know what that does for us. Planes, cool. Um, I guess we just ah, stay back. Ornithopter can block a monkey. No real reason to keep lands in hand, except for obviously these Urza Sagas, which just blow themselves up. find something good here. Our time is really low, too. I don't know why it's so low. It's only game two, right?
Oh, here we go. Opponent's back. Cracking their air mesa. I have a crooks in the yard now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Blood crypt. Tapped. Lightning bolts. The ornithopter. Does this mean dashing a ragavan? Alright, opponent, what do you got? Oh, they they can go get their Luris. And then they can start getting back. Oh, of course, now. Now we draw things. Um, I don't know if this is better to have on the battlefield or in our hand. Probably, let's see, they've done two Inquisitions so far. When Colgan's command. I don't know if it's, I don't know if one way or, or another is safer. But our opponent can start going to get Death Shadows. I think we're gonna cast it. It probably just does nothing, but. Mm, Lightning Bolt, sure. Plays Luris, plays Death Shadow. Cast a soul guide lantern, really? They're very worried that somehow we're gonna start getting back ornithopters from the graveyard. Another Colossus Hammer. <sighs> okay, just so I know. Yeah, okay, so that just dies instantly. Cool. Just had to do that for science. I guess they don't have a death shadow. We we pad the death shadow, so that's all they can get. And this draws them a card, so that makes sense. I was thinking they had a death shadow in there in their graveyard, but they don't. We're 22, so we got some time, I guess. Though, they have six cards in hand, so eventually they're gonna draw things. And again, those six cards are like probably mostly removal spells since they haven't been playing creatures or anything else. Yeah, cracks to draw. Gets in with Luris. We don't block. Down to 19. Opponent back up to 13. Cast a Kroxa. We're gonna discard an Urza Saga. I don't think it really matters. But, uh. Got Soul Guide from the graveyard. Sure. Gets rid of stuff. Alright, Esper Sentinel. Sure. And uh, we'll equip a Shadow Spear to an Esper Sentinel. I'm sure that will uh, I'm sure that will save us here. <laughs> Man, everyone came prepared for this deck. Tell you what, tell you what. We've also seen some updates um, too since I since I signed up for this tournament. I've seen some some different builds so. Maybe we're just playing too old of a build. Terminates. Oh, it's a four mana terminate at least, I guess, is something. <laughs> and it means they don't get back croaks so this turn. Just another soul guide lantern. Sure, to eat our stuff. Why not? Absolutely. Come on. Hey. What? What do I do here? <laughs> like, what do I do? Uh, I mean, if we get like pure steel paladin, maybe, maybe we we have. 
We have an exile. We've got... I don't even know. <laughs> a Pierce of Maladin would, would be great. Um, a Path would be alright, I guess. Sometimes the deck just doesn't like you. Just doesn't like you. We need to find a creature. Sanctifier would be pretty good, actually. Sanctifier would be great. Cast Croxa. Uh huh. So now our opponent's clock is much faster. Yeah, Sanctifier equipped Shadow Spear would would help quite a bit. Well, actually, would even so we're we're down to seven. Uh, which is a virtual four. Opponent casts some Soul Guide Lanterns. They're exiling their own stuff. From oh, are you kidding me? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I... I... I know I make misplays, I do, I do, but like, what do you do? What do you do? Uh, you've completed the league, yay. Uh, like, I just, I don't know. When you, uh, yeah, when you just go land, land, land. Uh, all right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to, uh, you know, uh, boost my very sad emotions right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next round. Thank you for watching High Ground MTG with co-hosts Kai Guy and Spiny Mouse. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to click that like button. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on future episodes of High Ground MTG. For even more videos, be sure to check out our playlist so that you can have the high ground.